welcome back to my channel. So I am filming a little bit untraditional today. You are face down. Hello. Um, so today I have for you a twig DIY. This is the Willow Edge, uh, Willow Roll Edging from Poundland. Um, the only other things you'll need is a glue gun and glue sticks. Uh, some, what are these? Bolt cutters. Cutters. They're not bolt cutters. Bolt cutters are huge. Um, pliers, I think these are called. I don't know. Uh, a pencil and some cardboard. So, um, my last one was a heart. This time I'm going to attempt a leaf shape of some sort. So, I don't want it too big. But I don't want it too small that it's not going to make a difference to the wall I don't know so the first thing I'm going to do is try and um sketch sketch draw an outline of a leaf the shape that I want and we'll see afterwards oh and scissors we need scissors because I can't cut this out otherwise uh I will get those after so a leaf um I want a twig to go sort of down the middle of the leaf so it can't be a curved leaf like the center needs to be straight. So I might just do that first. Uh, let's start from the bottom so we don't waste cardboard. So, oh my God, yeah, it's corrugated card. So it's not really gonna be very straight. And I don't know how the length of these. Oh my God, I got it pretty much perfect. Okay, so you probably can't see this because it's just pencil but once i uh cut the shape out you'll see what i mean um okay and then i still want the because i can cut it but i want the leaf to sort of go do i want it to go upwards i want the twigs to sort of go like this so I'll probably start from here and do like a bulbous leaf at the bottom. Uh, yeah. I don't know if you can see that, but I've made um, this part is the part I think I'm going to use. Uh, I prefer this shape rather than the bulbous sort of leaf. And then obviously the twigs will sort of go up like this to make it look like a, a leaf. What do you think? Do you like? If you can see. Okay, so I'm just going to grab the scissors and we'll cut this out and then we'll start gluing. So there's the leaf and yeah so that's that I'm gonna leave that to one side we're gonna start on the um, getting the sticks ready so um, as you probably remember from the last video I don't know if you you might want to watch that I one did first. was cut the uh, ends off and then just unravel the wire and I'll just show you that it makes more sense if I just do it now Make sure I hoover up after, because, ouch. So yeah, once the uh, wire is open, you can just open it out with your fingers. Just be careful, because it is really sharp. Um, so if a child is doing this, uh, make sure you supervise or do it for them, and then they can use the twigs. But yeah, you just literally, this is all I did, and just got the twigs out this way, just unravel, and that's it. You can cut more of the wire as you go along, like so, makes it a little bit easier. It's just more mess to tidy up. <laughs> but 
but yeah I'm just going to do that and get as many twigs out as I can for this project and I'll see you back here when I'm finished Okay guys, so I have, um, sorry, taken off all the sticks, I'm now going to start sort of seeing where I want these to go. I don't know if I want two in the middle or one, one kind of just looks like that and then these ones will all go like this to the side, like so. There's going to be a lot of cutting involved, um, but it means less sticks used, I suppose. But uh, I think I'm just going to do the one, because then at least, yeah, these two are the same size. Okay, I'm just going to do the one in the middle, and then these will all just be cut down to size along here. I'm going to start down the bottom, and then I'm going to work my way up the leaf. So, let's get this glued down. Oops, my glue gun has uh, attached itself to the uh, glue. Great. Like I said, um, I'm not too fussed about the... Uh, oh my god, I don't even know what I'm trying to say now. Yeah, it coming off the top because then it will look bigger than it is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Mistakes were made. I chose a bent one. <laughs> this this one was bent a little bit, so it now goes upwards. I'm just going to move it into place. Just press it right down so it gets right into the, the wood. And then what I'll do is I'll glue this one down and then I'll cut the excess off at the bottom. Like so. Ah, it looks really good. Already. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start off down the bottom here, like I said. And then I might try and angle the, the sticks to make them fit against the uh, base. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Like, oh, it's going to be so much work. But I don't care. I like I like having work to do but I might have to do one at a time so I know what I'm doing I need to follow it oh Jesus that went somewhere else okay yes yeah, so that's gonna work that's gonna work lovely actually and then I might just cut them after they've been glued down I think that's the safest option Okay, so I'm going to make the rest of this uh, part silent. You can just enjoy some music and then we will, <laughs> I will come back to you towards the end when I've almost finished. I'll see you soon, guys.
to the end bit here. So all I did with this side is as I went along, I snipped the uh, the twigs off one by one like this and made sure they sort of went around. See, this side's a little bit longer than that side. It's harder to get the shape this side, which is really annoying. But this is how we're doing it. Some of them are softer than others. Oops. Oops. Oh my God, that one went so far. So what I'm going to do is once... Um, once I've finished, I'm going to go back round and sort of chop them to the des to the right length. Oh, this one's far out. So there you have that. So yeah, I kind of wanted it to be the same on both sides, but I could I could leave it. We'll see how it looks once it's finished. So what I've been doing is using the cut pieces for the top here. Um, see, this is the sort of length I wanted it this side so i'll probably have to go back down this way um so i'm just going to get a few more ow just stab myself lovely jubbly yeah couple more this side see where this one's bent i'm gonna need to cut it to shape beforehand otherwise it won't fit you see it's leaving that big gap there which is really annoying <clears throat> that is very annoying guys i'm so sorry I'll, I'll be with you in a second okay that's better at least that way I can sort of squish it towards that. Okay. Oops, has this gone off? No? Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> I thought it had gone off, but it hadn't. Was this the one? Oh, God. I don't know which one was which now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is that the right length? Doesn't matter now, it's down. And I've just burnt myself. Ow we. So yeah, that's all I've been doing. And um, it's come along really beautifully. Like, I'm really impressed with it. Oh, that's got a big knobbly bit there as well. It's fine. So yeah, I'm just going to continue doing this up there and then I'm going to turn it round and sort of give it a proper cut um, this side to sort of match these this length here because I like the length it is here and I like the shape whereas this one's become a bit more round. So yeah, I'm just going to continue doing that. So yeah, I'm just going to continue doing this up there and then I'm going to turn it round and sort of give it a proper cut um, this side to sort of match these this length here because I like the length it is here and I like the shape whereas this one's become a bit more round. So yeah, I'm just going to continue doing that.
there's not much um, uh, there's a gap which means the the twig might not stick to the e what am I trying to say there's nothing for the twig to stick to so I've got to glue it to the uh, twigs on either side so I'm just gonna attempt that now and see how that goes Okay, it's not too bad. I chose quite a chunky one, so it fills up the space a bit more. Okay, so that's the leaf put together. So what I'm going to do is just leave this to dry for a little while before I uh, start chopping these bits. But this is the sort of length that I want on this side. So I'll start from here and just sort of work my way down like this. And make sure it sort of mirrors the other side actually i could probably do this side over here because this was done a while ago uh yeah it's fine okay it's looking a little better Still not as neat as the other side, but it still looks good. I'm happy. So, yeah, with that. once these are dried at the top, I will just chop uh, chop them a bit neater, and then I'll come back to you when I've finished. All I'm going to do afterwards is um, tie some twine just around here. Actually, I could do that now. Let me do that now while you're uh, while you're here. And I'm leaving the end long because I was just I was about to chop it off and I thought Do you know what no it actually looks really good so I'm going to leave that I'm just going to start wrapping just make sure the glue's covered and then just wrap downwards like that just for a little bit because I think this looks it adds a nice little touch to it it's very rustic you know I love um the rustic stuff as well as I as much as I love the bling I love the rustic as well so I won't do too much and then I'm just going to glue it up the back hopefully hopefully that will work like so and that's it that's the bottom bit done I think that looks really good I love it love it love it so yeah like I said actually that might be dry now Like I keep talking and then realize that I might not have to do what I think I'm gonna do so oh I'm just gonna speed this bit up guys so you don't have to listen to me doing this <laughs> Okay, that's it. That's it, guys. I'm just going to give it a clean up because it's got a bit of uh, stuff all over it. But I'm thinking I might actually hang it downwards like this and then just uh, get a bit of twine and just hang it from the leaf. Or I could put a little um, hook on the back. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. That's a very good idea. Okay, so I could use a... Um, a hook on the wall and have the like about here and then it will just hook with this like this hopefully we'll have to see how that goes <laughs> but I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna do that yeah we'll, we'll see how that um, pans out so about here 
and then these bits I'll just glue down. Hopefully. Oh, I've run out of I've run out of glue. Always running out at the worst time possible. There we go. Try not to burn myself now. Sorry, this is a little bit messy, this part. There we go. Right, so guys, I'm just going to wait for this to dry and then I will hang it up and I'll show you what it looks like once it's all hung up on the wall. Ah, I've created a mess. Okay, thanks for watching guys and um, I will see you in my next video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, like I said, the last one was really popular. Hopefully... Um, this one will give you a bit more inspiration because you can literally do any pattern, uh, any shape, hearts, uh, a star, Christmas trees. Uh, once it's obviously Christmas, it's, you know, the possibilities are so, so endless. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.